Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Abby. I'm an artist, author, and creator, and I love to creatively document my life and travels. Today, we're catching up on my travel journal from my trip to Copenhagen. If you haven't watched it, I will link the video down below, and also you can check out more of my travel and journal with me videos when you subscribe to my channel. We're just slowly organizing all the ephemera from the recent trip that I did and this is the first thing I like to do in order for me to kind of make sense of how things were. I had a really nice trip as I've mentioned in the previous travel and journal with me episode so I thought for this video it would be nice to walk you through some of the tips and prompts that I follow when it comes to journaling after a trip it can somewhat be intimidating, I would say, especially if you're not used to traveling consistently or journaling consistently. And as someone who has been doing that for quite a while now, I thought it'd be useful to share with you some insights and also some easy ideas and formats that you can use for your own travel journals. I would say that the Copenhagen trip that I took had a lot of very interesting ephemera that I kept including this Lego passport from the Lego house, as well as packaging, cards. Um, I got, I managed to get like extra freebies and stickers from other establishments and places also. Now let's get to journaling. As you can see, I have actually started on it already, but these were only a couple of pages that I managed to finish while I was in the trip. Sometimes if I'm lucky, there's time there's vacant time in the trip that I can work on these spreads and this these ones were the ones that I did at a cafe but other times I actually don't have the liberty of time and I will just stick things as I go for here I also wrote some pencil marks on some of the places and some of the things I wanted to stick on because it was just easier for me to kind of visualize what topics will be written on these pages. I also have another insert. It's an undated weekly insert where I write a trip summary so that I'm going to be using that as my guide for journaling. First tip is to use ephemera to your advantage. As you can see, for every trip that you visit, the ephemera that you'll be keeping and receiving and getting will be different. And I think that's great because it allows you to be more creative and more resourceful and I tried to hone that in when it comes to my travel journals. There will never be the same Japan travel journal even if I went to Japan several times and I think that's wonderful. For the ephemera, these ones that I use on the page are actually more ephemera and less stationary and they happen to be in the same shade of like bluish and grays that's why i decided to put them together so yeah use it as a focal point for your visual narrative because it's going to pay off really well my second tip is less is more if you're the type who doesn't write that much it's fine just stick all the ephemera and you're good to go this page and this spread in particular, I just had a hodgepodge of packaging and tickets that I wanted to stick on. Also, I kept the packaging from the 7-Eleven bakery because how can you not? And I just wrote some bits on the side. And for me, that's like the equivalent of having a caption for your photo. And sometimes just stick stuff like that and you're pretty much done for those pages. Tip number three is use photos as a starting point for storytelling. Especially for the passport size that I'm using, an Instax print already fills a whole page. So I usually use the left side or the right side to write about the photo. I also use this photo of me, Coco and Ian, as like a narrative starting point. Like the, basically the subject of this spread because I think that was the highlight of the entire trip. And it, it was, you know, it was print worthy. So I just used that. And also just to add a lot of like color surrounding it is the best way you can further enhance the look of the journal page. And obviously I wrote a caption and it just seals the deal this way. Tip number four, as I mentioned, resourcefulness is key. When I went to the Lego house, we, they didn't have that much ephemera. They didn't have that much merch. I wanted to have like stickers, you know, cutouts and everything, but they didn't have any. So I had this grand idea 
of tearing the Lego house packaging, cutting up the Lego pieces there, and using them to document about my day at the Lego house. Which I think is a really good idea if you have no other way to document or to find ephemera from your ex existing stuff. So that's a good way to actually utilize it to its advantage and you know i'm not gonna i'm gonna throw the packaging anyway so it just makes sense to use it for this i printed out a photo of me at the lego house i really like this instax print it's from it's from instax but it's like supposed to be like a vintage film like a contact sheet and i really like the black border next page my favorite tip is haha pun intended is to have a favorites page it's easy it's simple and for this page i did my favorite food i think mostly pastries actually from the trip but you can also customize it you can write your favorite parks or favorite museums or favorite shops or favorite experiences throughout your travels and i think it's a great way to just make it your own and make it unique to your own experiences My next tip is less is more again, especially for the museum pages that I'm doing because there isn't really much ex except the actual artwork. And for example, this is Yayoi Kusama's Infinity Room. It's the art, it's the thing. So I didn't really put that much else. I just labeled it and that's it. On the topic of museums, I thought to share this new discovery that I'm doing it's to take notes. I actually used to have a common place book for my museum visits. And also, did you know that May 18 is International Museum Day? Anyway, I'll link that common place book video down below, but because of the idea of having notes, I thought it was useful for me because I'm an artist and I also like to take note of special exhibitions that I was able to see. And for me, that's this, this particular prompt and this particular tip. So it's just easy to have a, like a summary of what I did in the museum. For me, it's just not enough to just go to the museum. I actually have to form my own opinion. It's like watching a film, basically, and it's really having your own experience with viewing the art, you know, the infrastructure, and just immersing yourself in the whole experience of being in a museum surrounded by art and surrounded by sculpture. And I really enjoyed going to the Louisiana Museum. So that wasn't in the vlog, but I had a fantastic time. And that was what I wrote in the journal spreads about the museums. Now to cap off my travel journal pages for Copenhagen, I'm creating this favorites another favorites um spread but i would call this a trip recap and this is a tip that i always like to recommend because it's the easiest way to kind of close off the trip and just to have a summary of everything that you've written or you've probably documented in your journal pages and it's not even it doesn't even have to be so complicated you can just go on and write like for me i wrote my favorite moments and there were just a lot of things that I really enjoyed throughout my trip that isn't something that I documented about. For example, I had a really nice brunch at the park. I was just eating there at the park and like people watching. It was such a vibe. And then um, the next, like the, the day before I left, I went on a really long walk across the harbor and went to a park and just, I like, I like parks by the way. Um, you know, quick take out from 7-Eleven, you know, these little moments, they're so unique and it's a great way to actually write them down so you never forget about them. And that's what I did for this spread. It's very minimal, but it sort of captures everything, captured, pun intended, captures everything in one page. And on the left side, I also put a photo of me in the Lego house because that's my favorite photo. Here is a flip through of the finished pages. And I hope you enjoyed looking through for some ideas and inspiration. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Patreon art club where I share more of these journal pages and more in-depth reviews and journal tours and recommendations and just a lot of exclusive content. And it's the best way you can support my creative journey. My patrons 
are admittedly the best because they allow me to work and live as an artist here in Berlin and they also allow me to travel and share these journal pages with you and document my experiences and share my life basically and um, share my creative pursuits. I also have a book out. It's called The Art of the Travel Journal. I'll link it down below if you'd like to know more about travel journaling. If you would like to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I share mostly videos on journaling, documenting, and a hodgepodge of things that I find interesting. I also share the some of the items that I used in this video down below if you want to check it out. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope to see you in the next one. Always be creating and never stop exploring. Bye!